Let's take a look at a few ways to make a 0.1 molar solution of HCl, hydrochloric acid. So the first way is when you buy your hydrochloric acid here, you get concentrated hydrochloric acid, often there'll be recipes to make different molarities, say 0.1, 0 0.5, 3 molar, and so on. So let's take a look at one of those recipes from Flynn Scientific. This one's online, link in the description. So here's our hydrochloric acid right here, and we have some different molarities we could make up. So if you want to make 0.1 molar, you're gonna need 8.3 milliliters. So what you'll do is you'll take a volumetric flask, put some water in, and then add 8.3 milliliters of that concentrated hydrochloric acid. Add the acid to water, then after you have that, fill it up to the mark until you have one liter. That'll give you a 0.1 molar solution and give you one liter of that. There is another way you could do this as well. You could use the formula M1V1 equals M2V2, because if you look at the bottle of concentrated hydrochloric acid, it'll tell you that it's 12 molar. And we don't know how much we're gonna take, we'll just call this V1, but we said we wanted to have a 0.1 molar solution and we're gonna make one liter of that. So now we just do the math. We'll divide both sides by 12 molar. Molar cancels out, it's on the top and the bottom, we'll be left with liters. So 0.1 divided by 12, that'll give us V1. And that gives us 0 0.0083, those are liters. If we wanted to change this to milliliters, we multiply it by 1,000, we'll get 83 milliliters, just like the recipe showed us. One last way you could do this, you didn't want to use the concentrated hydrochloric acid. You could use a stock solution. Say you had some three molar hydrochloric acid. So instead of 12 molar, you'd put three molar in, do the math, and you'd figure out how much you need to make your 0.1 molar solution of hydrochloric acid. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.